Hey guys, it is Cheryl again, and I finally found out what I'm going to do in my next video. And I'm very excited about this one because it's just a random tag. Uh, just a random tag because it's random facts about me. And, yeah. Um, I love, like, I saw somebody do this video and it was like 50 questions, no, 50 random facts. And I'm like, I don't think I can think of that much right now. I thought of 21. So it's going to be 21 random facts about me. Um, I think I've answered, I think I've talked about a couple of things before, but not many. So let's get into it. So number one is I used to be obsessed with Blue's Clues when I was younger. For some reason, not sure. I even had like a stuffed animal of Blue. And it also, hashtag childhood ruined when I found out that Blue was a girl. Because I thought Blue and Magenta had something going on. <laughs> but no, <laughs> that would've been awkward. I don't think so. They were just friends, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, so that was my thought process on the whole thing with Blue's Clues. I think, I, I think up until I was six, seven, six, Roughly around that time. I still have the Blue's Clues. I still have Blue. Like, to this day, I still have my stuffed animal of Blue somewhere around here. I know because I saw it the other day. Anyways. Um, random fact two is I love all type of music. Like, music in general is my life. Like, I love every single genre. I think other than, like, Screamo. It's because I don't understand it. Like, I have to understand the lyrics in order to like it. Because it's all about the lyrics for me. Not necessarily the music. Okay. Three. Random fact. The third random fact is all of my friends in the first semester I've made, I met in the library of uh, Glendale Community College. Which is very weird, I know. But I was mainly in the library. So... Yeah, this semester I haven't been in the library that much. Actually, I haven't really been in the library. Um, it's only because I have, I've been, like, I'm at school every day. Like, I don't need the library like I did last semester. Well, I still need the library, but, yeah, I mean, like, it's not like, like, I have other resources as well. Um, and also I have all my books this year, unlike last semester. Uh, four is... Um, I used to do a lot of amateur acting, like in high school. I did plays. I did uh, four plays, and I was in three musicals. Um, those four plays were Alice in Wonderland, Seussical the Musical, which is by Dr. Seuss, um, Snoopy, and it was a Rodgers and Hammerstein's uh, collection of plays, and it was called A Night on Broadway. And there was just like five different, um, five different, what are they called, like, playwrights, that's it, playwrights of, um, Rodgers and Hammerstein's who did Cinderella, um, we did Cinderella, The King and I, um, Oklahoma, and, uh, South Pacific, and The Sound of Music. I can't believe I forgot that one. I was in that one. I was one of the Von Trapp children. But I was in like all of them technically, but I was mainly cast as that role. Which she was a lot of fun to play. And yeah, I loved my outfit and all, I loved all of my outfits. Um, but yeah, in Snoopy, I was Peppermint Patty. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh my goodness, you still look like her. And oh my goodness, you look like her. Actually, some, my friend's grandma still calls me Peppermint Patty. And I'm just like, you're so sweet. Because it just reminds me of, like, the good old days. Um, in Seussical, I was a bird girl. Um, which, they're pretty much the narr a narrator. So, yeah. Um, and in um, Alice in Wonderland, I was the White Queen. Not the Red Queen, the White Queen's sister. Um, like, they're sisters. The White Queen and the Red Queen, I guess, are sisters. Um... But we did the book version, not necessarily the Disney version. So, yeah. Um, five is my favorite season is fall. A lot of people, a lot of girls I know favorite season is fall. I think it's a comedian that I know of. Um, C. 
said like default a girl's favorite um, season is fall. It has to be or else you're not you're not really a girl and I don't think that's necessarily true. But because I also love summer, but I love fall more because like I don't know, we can get do you can do stuff more in the fall than in the summer, at least in Arizona. But yeah, so I don't know, I just love the fall. Plus my favorite holiday is there, Thanksgiving, because you get to eat. Without being judged, may I add. Okay, uh, number six is, I may be a dancer, but I'm a huge klutz. Like, I tripped over nothing many times. And it's just like, I don't understand it, but I fall, I have fallen, I have tripped over nothing before and yeah I, I just I'm a huge klutz. Uh, seven is I collect Eiffel Towers and snow globes. Um, if I do I will do a room tour soon I just keep saying that I need to clean up my room and I never do so I'm a lazy person as well <laughs> um, to some extent but yeah uh, I just need to clean it up some and straighten it up make it look nice because like I did kind of do some rearranging as well so yeah um, I'll do that and I'll show you guys what I've collected not nothing too big and extravagant but yeah I collect those I've been collecting those for I think four years now and I have a nice little collection myself I guess yeah. eight is my favorite drink is coffee it's bad for me I know but I'm like the only thing I think is not bad for you is water like not even in even in food wise water is the only thing that's good for you because it's just like even then some water isn't even good for you I don't know but yeah, I love coffee, so, um, I've had, my first cup of coffee I had when I was 12, and I've been pretty much drinking it every day, almost every day since then. Like, there's a couple of days that I'm like, okay, I don't necessarily need it, um, especially if I get a really good night's sleep, and it doesn't necessarily wake me up, it just puts me in a better mood, and, yeah, I don't know why, just every time, like, something sad happens, or every time, um, like, like I'm always stressed or something like that. I normally, if like, I have like a cup of coffee, I'm normally good. It's my distress, my, my distressor, it's kind of like my drug. But I mean, I can deal without it. But it's funny, every time I go over to my, my sister's Elizabeth's house, Stephen's always like, do you want some coffee? Like, should I make the coffee? And I'm like, you should have already had the coffee made. <laughs> I don't actually say that. But, I mean, like, it's kind of, like, there. Yeah. But, no, it's, their coffee's amazing. I don't know, like, they have the Keurig coffee, so, yeah. Anyways, number nine, I'm always writing quotes on my mirrors. Like, if I like a quote from a song, if I like a quote just in general, um, from a book or anything, like, as you can probably see, not really behind me, but I think in my other video, it's clear. Um, I have a quote, it's not on my mirror, like nothing is on my mirror right now because I just cleaned it, but um, they're all over my room. You'll also see that with um, my um, room tour, but um, I always have positive quotes. There's a couple of quotes that are kind of sad only because sometimes you have to have those sad quotes as well, but they're always somewhat positive and uplifting and showing myself that I'm still human no matter what happens. Even if I get a big head and think, oh my goodness, I'm all that. And I never do, really. So, there, yeah. Number 10 is Avalon High and Divergent. The, 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 the. Avalon High and the Divergent series are my two, are like my overall favorite books. I need to get more favorite books. I need to like read more. Um, but Avalon High has been my favorite book since sophomore year. And that's when I first read. Sophomore year? I think it was going into my sophomore year was the first time I read the book. Um, I only read it because Disney, the Disney Channel came out with a movie about Avalon High and I heard that it was a book and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to read this book because it involves like a lot of my favorite things. Um, it, Avalon High, if you haven't heard about it, it's by Megan Cabot and actually this is 
this is just the book without the cover. Um, but that's what that's what it is. I have my books down there. That's how come I, it was an easy access. Um, but yeah, like that is my favorite book. And it took forever. It took me forever to find that book. I finally found it online. Um, but yeah, that book is definitely my favorite. It was my. It was. Like, I used to hate reading, and that book introduced me pretty much back into reading, and yeah, I was very happy with it. I don't want to tell you a lot about it, but I can say um, it's pretty much the reincarnation of King Arthur and the, the Knights of the Round Table, and that's what I love about it, because that's my favorite. The medieval times are my favorite times as well. Another random fact. Um, a Divergent is just because they're awesome. I mean... That that series I read within a month, which is weird because they're all over 200 pages. Each book took me like a week. Not even. The last book only took me like three days. And the last book is like the biggest book. I don't know. I was so into it. Anyways. Uh, the le 11 is I taught myself to do a lot of things. Um, I taught myself how to ride a bike, how to dance, sing, and paint. Um, I'm not a huge painter as much as I was when I was younger, and I really didn't do much painting. And, like, I wasn't, like, just because I taught myself how to do these things doesn't mean I'm great. Okay? I'm not saying that I'm great, because I'm not the best at riding bike. Every, a bike, every time, excuse me, every time I'm on a bike, I always end up falling off, because I'm a klutz. But, I mean, I can sing pretty well. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm, like, the best singer in the whole wide world, but I'm not the worst. And I know I'm the same way with the dancing. I'm not the best dancer, but I'm not the worst. But, yeah. Uh, number 12 is I love candles. Like, candles galore. I have, like, a bunch everywhere. Um, I have some in, like, boxes because I'm just, like, I have too many. Um, but boxes that are in my closet. So, yeah. Um, 13, I never had a job, but I'm looking for one. Um, the only job I've really had is babysitting, and um, I'm kind of sick, sick and tired of babysitting. I'm actually looking at applying at many places that um, the mall near my house is, like, they're asking for help. So I'm hope, I hope I can get a job there. Um, if not, I'll, I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of places that aren't close to where I live that are hiring, and... Yeah, I don't know. I just I have a lot of thinking to do right now, for sure. Um, my hair has only been up to like here, like that's the longest my hair has been. It was like eleven when it was that far. I can't believe it's been that long. I mean, like that's really long compared to like what what it is right now. But although right now it is growing out, like it's been it's grown since like the last time I cut it and the last time I cut it was like two weeks ago um which I'm very happy about that because I want to grow it out and I I, I kind of want it like right here again like it, it was here the like almost a year ago two years ago right there and I want it longer and yeah I just kind of want to keep it healthy so that was the hard part as well and healthy and also I just love I also love short hair because it's easier to take care of it's also easier to dye as well I don't know but I want to grow it out again and see how long it gets and if I don't like it again I can always just I'm like uh, -uh it's going back to being short <laughs> because I mean it's been short for a really long time well if it if like it's been here like pretty much as long as where the camera ends um that's pretty much how long it's been. Uh, that's the longest it's been. Uh, for 11 years? Yeah, I mean, I'm 18, almost 19. I mean, seven years, eight years, it's been really short. I've just gotten used to short hair. Um, 15, I've only had one boyfriend. And um, uh, as you guys know, a couple weeks ago, we broke up. Um, but, I mean... Actually, we talked a little today, and I feel like we're at peace with what it ha what happened. Yes, it was kind of heartbreaking, but I mean, I kind of feel like it was probably because it was my first breakup. 
but I mean we're both at peace with it right now and we both understand it a little bit more and I mean yeah we were talking today and it was really good I mean like it's not that you know sure I probably still do like him in some way but you know it's just it's time for me to move on and even though it will probably be a long time before I start dating again um, it's just hard to find that one guy that fully accepts me. Um, 16. I hope to go to Paris one day. Probably may not happen because it is really expensive. But, who knows. 17. Um, my extended family is really big. Like, especially on my dad's side. My aunts and uncles. Like, my dad had six brothers. Five brothers? Something like that. There's like six of them, I think. And they had a huge, they had huge families. I think only one of them has two kids. Everybody else has like four and up. Yeah. <laughs> and I have one uncle who has seven kids. I don't know. I lost count. <laughs> but yeah, we've had a lot, like I have a lot of cousins and aunts and uncles because like even a couple of my uncles has remarried and so like even then like I still kind of have like that family out there and it's just weird I'm just like even on my mom's side even though there's only three there was only three kids that like there's only my mom and her brother and sister even then I still have a big family on my mom's side I mean there's 12 grandchildren between the three of them like there's six girls and six guys it's really, really weird how that kind of evened out. But yeah. Um, um, okay. Um, 18. My celebrity crushes. Um, I have two, actually. One's an actor and one's a singer. Um, the actor that I have a crush on is <laughs> Chris Evans. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing at what I put. I put Christ <laughs> instead of Chris. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I'm tired. That's probably why. That's hilarious. Um, Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, and Captain America is my favorite Avenger. Another bonus, another bonus uh, random fact. I think I've probably already said that though. Um, anyways, uh, and my favorite and my celebrity crush, who's a singer, is Luke Hemmings from Five Seconds of Summer. He's actually behind me on my calendar. That's a little weird. <laughs> Um, yeah. 19. Um, this year, um, I have been really obsessed with the color red. Not sure why. I just, I don't know, like, this year has just, like, been the year of red, I guess. And, um, or, yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, like, I've dyed my hair red, like, since the beginning of the year. And then, like, I bought a red skirt, and then, like, I have red shoes that, like, literally are the color of my hair. Like, I didn't mean to do that. It just kind of happened. Um, I don't know. I just, I've been pretty obsessed with the color red. And, I mean, that's not a bad thing. I mean, my favorite color is not red. It actually is, like, a blue-green. I'm sorry, my contact is bothering me. Um... But yeah, so I don't know. Red is a really awesome color anyways. Uh, <laughs> fact 20. Um, at times, I pretend that I am a famous person and I sing and dance in front of my mirror. <laughs> um, this one, I don't, I, I'm just going to leave it as that because that's a bit embarrassing. Finally, the last um, fact about me is that my favorite movie at this point, like this moment, is either uh, Pitch Perfect or The Wedding Ringer. Um, I finally saw Pitch Perfect and I loved it. I don't know why it took me so long to watch it. Um, and yeah, although I, I think it was worth the wait because I watched it the week that 
I was going through a hard time and I kind of needed to laugh and whatever. And plus, I mean, it's a musical. It's awesome. But yeah. Um, and The Wedding Ringer is just because it's like a romantic comedy. And yeah, it's really funny. If you haven't seen it, I would suggest to go watching it. You should watch it. Um, it is rated R though, so I mean, that'd be kind of hard for anybody who's under the age of 18 to go see that. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm really tired. Um, but that is pretty much, that is the end of the video. It really is. So yay! Uh, now you guys know 20, well actually a little bit more than 21 because I gave you a couple bonuses. I think it's 23 right now. Um, anyways, you know some facts about me. And I'm so, so, so sorry this video is so long. Um, but, I mean, if you... I guess it's somewhat educational for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, my next video will probably be my February fa favorites because it c is coming to the end of February, which is insane that February is already over with. It will be soon. But that will probably be up at the end of the week. And also, I promise that I will have a room tour video as well. Um, with that, I am signing off. So, goodbye, guys.